This week, we're going to look at the vowel sounds, right? Now, does anybody know what a vowel sound is? Yes, please. It is a rumbling tummy. <laughs> no, I leave vowel, not bowel. Sorry, please. Right, well, there are five vowels in the alphabet. A, E, I, O, and U. A, E, I, O, U. Good. Now, firstly, we'll take the letter A. Now, this can be pronounced in three different ways. It can be A, A, or R. A, A, or R. Excuse me. Yes, Max. Uh, I am not understanding. Uh, how can A be a R? <laughs> well, it's not the letter R. It's sometimes pronounced R. And I am a what language? <laughs> it's all right. I'll give you some examples. Let's take the word F-A-T. Now, that has a flat A sound. <laughs> A. Ah. If we add an E to the end of fat, then what do we have? Fatty. <laughs> okay, I stick. <laughs> Pontoon, five card stick only. What you got? Queen of Hearts, Jock of Spades. <laughs> hey, you should not be playing the cards. You should be learning the English. Zig Heil! That is right. You should be improving your mind. You can improve my mind any time. <laughs> How about tonight, huh? We have the meal, a couple of glasses of vino, then back to my place to make a love. That is not improving the mind. No, but it's, it's very good for the body. <laughs> he has terminated my engagement. It is a very big surprise to me. Yeah, well, it was a bit of a shock to me as well. We are not knowing that you and Miss Courtney were engaged. <laughs> well, you don't understand. I mean to coin a phrase. I've been given the boot. Si, <laughs> senor. One right foot, one left foot. Oh, no, one. Look, can't you understand? I mean I have been fired. I've been given the bullet. Ah, Santa Maria. She tried to shoot you. <laughs> no, I have been dismissed. Dismissed? Oh. Yes. Dismissed. You are leaving us? I'm afraid so. Oh, no. C'est incroyable, c'est formidable, enfin. Why are you leaving? Well, Miss Courtney doesn't think I'm suitable. Ah, oh, oh. that's... We go speak to her. <laughs> I'm afraid that speaking to her won't do any good at all. Okay, we twist her arms a little bit. <laughs> yeah, we tell her if she not let you stay, we work her over. Yeah. <laughs> we'll do nothing of the sort. We don't have mafia Question tactics five. in this country. Quite a hard one, this. Construct a sentence using the word indisposition. Sure. <laughs> Every Saturday, I play football, and I am being the goalie keeper because I like playing indisposition. <laughs> Professori is mad at us. Sure. We must do good with these questions. Yeah, we've got to get every question right. How we do that? I've got an idea. Professori has got the answers, right? So? So we get them from him. He's not going to give them to us? He don't have to. We steal them. <laughs> Listen, everybody, because this is very important. What's the matter? Now, he's about the test we have. Yeah, we've got to do good. Otherwise... We're all in the minestrone. In the shoop. That's right. Now, we have a plan. What plan? We pinch the answers. That is cheating. That's right. I do not cheat. Perhaps the exam is not too bad. Maybe we can answer the question okay. Yeah. Sí, claro, sí. Lo creo. It's not too difficult. Let's have a look. Question one. Construct sentences using the following types of clauses. A verbal clause of time... Noun clause as object of preposition and main clause coordinate with first? Well, Anna? How we steal the answers. <laughs> Mr. Brown, your students have been at it again. What? Not more graffiti? No, not this time. Read this. Young Vera, male student, wishes to meet nice lady from cookery class for evenings of mutual pleasure. Apply Maximilian Papandrios. <laughs> Kindly inform Mr. Papandreas that the notice board is for official notices and not for procuring young women. Right. Well, I'm sure his intentions were quite innocent. Evenings of mutual pleasure. Yes, well, he probably only wanted her to whip up an omelette. <laughs> well, tell him to whip up his own omelettes. <laughs> right, I, I'll have a word with him. See that you do. Your coffee, Miss Courtney. Thank you, Gladys. 
Oh, by the way, Mr. Brown, how is the mock examination coming along? Oh, well, we haven't started it yet. We're going to get cracking just as soon as we've finished our tea break. Well, I do hope that the results will be good. Otherwise, I shall have to think about axing the course. Axing the course? You wouldn't do that, surely? I most certainly would. It would be a complete waste of time for them to carry on and sit for an examination they have no hope of passing. Thank you, Gladys. Well, that's it. I've Ooh. had it. Well, I didn't think your class was as bad as that. Oh, they are at the moment. Oh, I'm sure that when the time comes, they'll pull through with flying colours, but right at the moment, the only thing they like to get right on the test paper is their names, and even that's doubtful. Well, <laughs> you'll have to help them with the answers. Well, give them the answers. Yeah, not exactly give them to them. Just leave them lying around where they can see them. That is cheating. No, not exactly. It's not as though it's a real exam. I mean, you said yourself they come out with flying colours. Ah, it's a pity if the course has to be cancelled. All because of failing a mock exam. But you know best. It's <laughs> <laughs> much too obvious. I always steal the answers. I know. First we hit him on the head. <laughs> That's no good. We make too much mess. We've got to get him out of the class. How we do that? I don't know. Hey, let's all think. Studying hard? Professori, you're here. Yes. Sit down. Have a cup of tea. Have two cups of tea. <laughs> we'll be back, huh? Max. Yeah, well, just a minute, Max, and I want a word with you. Me? Eh? Yeah, I believe that this, uh, this notice is yours. Sure. Yeah, well, I'm afraid that Miss Courtney will not allow you to have that on the notice board. OK. As a point of interest, did anybody from the cookery class respond? Sure. She was beautiful. We had a fantastic time. Never before I had a such a time. Really? What does she cook for you? Cook? We had a takeaway. <laughs> Where are you going? Uh, we got to spend 2p. Well, the phrase is spend a penny. Sure. I spend a penny, he spend a penny. <laughs> you won't uh, go near the classroom, I hope. No, Professor. Only, you see, I've just uh, left the answers on my desk and I wouldn't want you to be uh, looking at them and copying them down. Would we do that, Max? No. <laughs> That would be cheating, Mr. Brown, wouldn't it? <laughs> Hurry up. Yeah, up. Nearly finish. All right. You're looking for something. <laughs> is Mr. Brown in the classroom? No, Mr. Brown is in the tea room. Down the corridor and on your left. I am familiar with the geography of this building. Sure. Would you mind moving? What for? I wish to enter the classroom. But Mr. Brown is in the tea room. So you have already told me, but I wish to wait for him in the classroom. Okay, Miss Courtney. <laughs> you want to go into the classroom, Miss Courtney? I will open the door for you, Miss Courtney. I am not deaf. <laughs> oh, Mr. Capello, all ready for taking your exam? Sure, all ready. That's me. <laughs> How did you pass your weekend? Um... Saturday, I go to see the big fight. Ah, a boxing match. No, no, football match. <laughs> and Sunday, I take my girlfriend to see the Tower of London. Oh, very cultural. Did you see the beef eaters? Beef eaters? Yes. No, I only see people eating sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. See, every Sunday I go to Mass. Oh, yeah. you're, you're a practising Catholic, then? And not practice. I'm a perfect. <laughs> In Italy, when I was a little boy, I was going to be a priest. Really? What made you change your mind? <clears throat> well, it's like this. One day, the priest to give a big sermon in the church all about women, girls, and the pleasures of the flesh. And the more he spoke, the more I realised what I would be missing. Oh, no. <laughs> Goes to cricket. Please. I not understand cricket. Well, it's uh, quite straightforward. Uh, there are two teams of 11 men each, and one side goes in, and the other side have to try and get them out. I didn't know you could play it in the doors. <laughs> it's not played indoors. Yeah, but how can somebody be out when he's already out? 
Well, I'll try to explain. You see, the team that is bowling is on the field and the team that is batting is in the pavilion. Now, the first two men, batsmen, come out to go in. And then uh, the first one of those to be out goes back in and then another batsman comes out to go in. Is that clear so far? Oh, sure. When he's in, he's not really in, he's out. And when he's out, he's not really out, he's in. That's right. Panayamu. It's crazy. Ronnie, what time do you call this? Uh, ten past seven. You're late. Haven't you got a watch? Ah, oh, I had a watch. It was a beautiful watch. It was rust-proof, shocker-proof, waterproof, everything. The only trouble is it wasn't quite superproof. Superproof? Yeah. Last night I'm working in the restaurant and whoops at the daisy, I dropped it in the sofa. <laughs> I'm going to run the class and I want each of you to give me a word beginning with a different letter from the alphabet. Max, we'll start with you. A or A? A desk. <laughs> no, Max, that's a D. All right, D desk. <laughs> No, Max, desk does not begin with the letter A. I want a word beginning with the letter A. A door. Good. A door. Well done. Uh, excuse, please. Yes, Ali. I'm not understanding why you are saying a desk is not right, but a door is right. Ah, uh, yes. Well, you see, when Max said a door, he was meaning the verb to a door. And although they do sound the same, he didn't mean a door. For example, this door. Am I right, Max? Sure you're right. I'm meaning any door. <laughs> Thick. Thick. That's right. Now, there's no such word as thick. Sure there is. My boss is English and he say lots of times, through thick and through thin. <laughs> yes, well, your boss's grammar isn't very good and don't give me the old chestnut about his grandma being very good for her age. I not say that. Good. She's dead. Right, um, this fight. What about right. it? Well, we show you how to win. When you get in the ring, first you smash him in the stomach. <laughs> and when his head comes down, you knee him under the chin. No, 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 no. Much better. Chop on the back of the head. No, 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 no. First, you hit him in the throat, and then you butt him in the stomach. <laughs> See, no, I mean, I'm not going to All right, all right, that'll do. There's not any more fighting. You're here to learn English. I mean, no, don't forget why you're here.